aspartame is an artificial sweetener that's approximately 200 times sweeter than sugar. It contains just 4 calories per gram and is commonly used in diet drinks and low calorie foods. Many people use aspartame in place of caloric sweeteners as a way to cut back on calories and manage their added sugar intake. However, there are several health concerns related to the frequent consumption of aspartame and aspartame sweetened foods and drinks. Aspartame is one of the most common artificial sweeteners. It first entered the food market in 1981 and continues to be a replacement for sugar in soda, candy and diet foods. People use artificial sweeteners like aspartame to cut back on the number of calories they consume and to help manage their blood sugar levels. For example, a 12 ounce serving of regular coke contains 140 calories and 35 grams or 9.75 teaspoons of added sugar while the same serving of Diet Coke provides zero calories and zero grams of sugar. Unlike caloric sweeteners like table sugar and corn syrup, aspartame has a minimal effect on blood sugar levels, which is why it's often recommended to people with prediabetes and diabetes. Additionally, because artificial sweeteners contain virtually zero calories, Many people view artificially sweetened foods and drinks as healthier than products that are sweetened with sugar. However, the regular consumption of artificial sweeteners has been linked to several health issues. Recently, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, the Cancer Agency of the World Health Organization, classified aspartame as a group 2B carcinogen. Group 2B carcinogens are considered possibly carcinogenic to humans, meaning they may have the the potential to cause cancer. The agency classified aspartame as group 2B based on limited evidence that consuming aspartame may cause cancer in humans. This does not mean consuming aspartame will necessarily result in cancer. However, it suggests diets very high in aspartame may be harmful to health and may increase the risk of some cancers with excessive consumption. A study that included data on 102,865 people found high consumers of total artificial sweeteners including aspartame had a 13% higher risk of overall cancer cancer compared to non-consumers. The study found the use of aspartame and another artificial sweetener called acesulfame K had the strongest association with increased cancer risk. The US Food and Drug Administration has issued a statement that it disagrees with IARC's classification of aspartame as a possible carcinogen to humans. In addition to potentially causing an increased cancer risk, diets high in aspartame has been linked to other health concerns. However, many of the findings on aspartame and health are inconsistent, meaning some studies have shown aspartame can negatively impact health while others have found no effect. Some evidence suggests consuming artificial sweeteners like aspartame could negatively impact the gastrointestinal microbiome or bacteria in the gut and promote a pro-inflammatory environment in the digestive tract. For example, studies in animals and humans show aspartame may increase the number of pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria in the gut while decreasing microbial diversity. A recent study of 120 people found aspartame intake significantly altered intestinal microbiota and significantly affected microbiota function compared to the control groups. Aspartame and other artificial sweeteners are often recommended to those with diabetes and alternative to sugar. However, some studies suggest aspartame use does not improve glycemic control or management of optimal blood sugar levels. Some evidence suggests artificial sweeteners like aspartame may increase oxidative stress in the body. 
which could harm cognitive health. A study that included data on 2,888 people found people who consumed one or more artificially sweetened drinks per day were nearly three times more likely to develop dementia compared to people who did not consume artificially sweetened beverages. The study also linked artificially sweetened beverage intake to an increased risk of stroke. Interestingly, super sweetened beverages were not linked to dementia risk. Aspartame may also negatively impact neurobehavioral health or how the brain regulates emotion, behavior, and learning by increasing levels of the stress hormone cortisol and increasing the brain's vulnerability to oxidative stress. One study found participants who consumed a high aspartame diet for eight days were more irritable, exhibited more symptoms of depression, and performed worse on spatial orientation tests. A recent study that included data on 103,388 people found Artificial sweetener intake was associated with an increased risk of heart disease and aspartame intake specifically was linked to a 17% increased risk of stroke. This may be due to the impact of artificial sweeteners on inflammation, gut health, weight status, blood vessel function, and more. Although organizations like the IARC have linked aspartame to some health concerns, the FDA considers aspartame to be safe for human consumption. According to the FDA, aspartame is safe in doses under 500 mg per kilogram of body weight per day. To reach the upper end of the acceptable daily intake, a person weighing 132 pounds would need to consume around 75 packets of aspartame sweetener in a single day. This level of aspartame consumption would be difficult to reach on a daily basis, which is why organizations like the FDA still consider aspartame and other artificial sweeteners linked to increased cancer risk as safe for human consumption. However, recent research has made it unclear if levels lower than the acceptable daily intake harm health. Some evidence suggests people who regularly consume artificially sweetened beverages and consume artificial sweeteners well under the current acceptable daily intake are at a greater risk of some health issues, including dementia and stroke. People who have phenylketonuria need to avoid aspartame. Phenylketonuria is a genetic disorder in which the body lacks the enzyme needed to break down an amino acid called phenylalanine. Aspartame contains phenylalanine, so it's not appropriate for people with phenylketonuria. A lifelong low phenylalanine diet is the primary treatment option for people with this condition. Some evidence suggests aspartame may increase the risk of cancer, specifically liver cancer. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, share, and comment.